I came across this uh, cool method of folding that I thought would be worth sharing. It's in this paper about folding flats to the left and wrapping polyhedra packages. And the authors call this a color reversal gadget. And they show a diagram here. And it, I wondered what it would be like if I repeated that over and over again. And lots of interesting things happen. It can be this, this piece that has these little spikes coming out that uh, have a nice way of moving. It can be this kind of spirally thing. Uh, and it can also be this, this strap. This is all just because the, the, all of these are the same foldings. They just are glued in different places. I was most interested in seeing it as a strap for things because I'm always looking for, for nice closures for things. So this, this made a nice closure that I wrap around. And for this, you need a piece of paper that is two different colors, duo paper. This is two inches wide, 40 inches long. It'll end up folding to about a third of its original length. So it'll be a little more than 12 inches. And this is the way, this is the way it goes. I'm going to start off by bringing it up. And I, this is a two inch piece of paper. So what I've done is I've, I've drawn a little bit of a grid here just so that I can bring that over an inch. Bring it over an inch then if you sort of see an isosceles right triangle here what you want to do is fold that in half from right here so so i fold it in half notice how i'm lining it up it's nice nicely lined up and then i'm going to turn it over and bring it back. Now I'm going to do this over and over again. And I it's my thought that you're going to have to see it over and over again in order to get it. I've got it lined up on these two one inch marks. What's happening is that you see this, this part comes out an inch. And then I'm going to bring it up. Now the I saw this right triangle is brown. Fold it down in half. And you can fold it up or fold it down, but the idea is to fold it in half. This time I'm folding it down. And then lining it up with what's behind it. There's a little bit of a king in there. I've got to curl that out. And then bring it back. And you can see the pattern is starting to emerge. I'm going to slide this over and same thing, bring this up 90, making a 90 degree angle right here at the top. Fold my triangle in half. And whatever method works for you is the one that you should do. Um, and then I'm going to bring this back down. And fold this across. So maybe it's better if I don't say anything. You can just watch. This is going to be pretty boring. If you've got it, if you've got it, that's it. It's over. You don't have to watch anymore. But it took me a long time to figure this out. I'll do a couple more and then I'll talk about 
how the gluing can go, depending on what you want to do. tried this with some tissue paper. It was really, really hard to do with tissue paper. I'm, su I'm sure that's someone who is much more uh, brave than I or patient than I to be able to do it with tissue paper. And I did it, but it wasn't very neat. Okay. So if I want to glue this, a couple of cool things, a couple of things you can do. Uh, one of the main places that I'll glue it is in this folded triangle. And that'll make it so it's like that red one where, is that right? Yeah, where these little spiky things can are free to, to move, to come out. Uh, what's also nice about this is, I think this is the one, there's a little pocket right here. So you can actually put things in that pocket. Do I have any scraps around? So this is sort of a big scrap, but you can see you've got all these little pockets you can put things in, which is really nice. The other thing to do is, um, is after you glue all of these triangles together, then glue the triangle down, glue it down, boom, boom, underneath. And that's what will give you this kind of strap. See, nothing really, nothing really moves away. Okay, but to me, I think it's kind of interesting that this strap happens if you glue everything, but if you don't glue any everything, then um, it becomes this, this it just it just spirals nicely by itself. Very pretty. Okay, so there you go. I'm um, going to do a few more pieces. Be sure to to work down like this. And if your piece is two inches wide, make these make your grid two inches with a line in the middle. Um, I just find that helpful. I was the first one I was making these, I wasn't using any kind of grid at all. And it just, it, it, things didn't turn out as neatly. It's nice to work on a table, but it's kind of nice to sometimes have it turn out kind of wonky too. So, so there you go, a, a color reversal gadget brought to you by Eric and Martin Demain and Joseph S.P. Mitchell and me, Paula.